Hey everybody, how's it going? So a few days ago I published a happy positive story from this farmer that reached out to me. Thank you very much, by the way, Joe, explaining how a combination of some AVE videos, Big Clive videos, and some stuff that I had produced had helped him identify the bad components inside of this $4,000 product that went into a piece of farm machinery, and he was able to get it fixed far cheaper and get it to work again, and he shared it with a bunch more farmers. Not to mention that just a few weeks ago, the Nebraska Farm Bureau voted in favor of supporting right to repair 176 to 1. This is great news. And some of those farmers have actually been emailing me stuff that's kind of related to their trade. And I thought I would share one of these pieces here. So this says, for tech-weary Midwest farmers, 40-year-old tractors are now a hot commodity, which is really interesting. It states in the article that around 1989, 30- or 20-year-old tractors, like they, they wouldn't command much money. Whereas here, in contrast to modern tractors, that would be $150,000 to $250,000. He's talking about how tractors from 40 years ago are selling for $43,000, $61,000, $61,000 for a 1979 tractor. And the reason that they're doing that is that the lack of complex technology here says that they can often fix more of what's going on in this, on the spot. So whereas with the new machines, your only option is typically to have someone from the dealership come out and spend 150 per hour for labor. So one thing that I thought that was interesting when I got to actually meet with some farmers when I was lobbying in Tennessee and Nebraska, one of the things I got to meet and that I really admired about these people that I met in Nebraska was the they are very proud of their self-reliance, that whole concept that I'm going to fix this and figure this out right now. Like if there's certain things when it comes to crops, the way it was explained to me is Let's say that a dealer or a certain technician wouldn't be able to come out for one or two days. If I need to do this specific thing to this specific crop now, and I have to wait one or two days, that may screw up my yield for the next several months. So it's very important to farmers to be able to get things done immediately, and they are pretty self-reliant. You know, they don't have to be a scientist or some ingenious engineer to be able to put together a solution to get something to work temporarily if they need, and that's a big part of the job from what I learned when I got to meet with actual farmers. And the ability to do this is apparently important enough that when a new item is $150,000, a 40-year-old item that's missing several features can actually sell for up to $61,000 just because it allows them to do their job. And it also is not solely just about the ability to you know, save a little bit of money or fix it. It says here... This goes against the pride of ownership, plus your lifetime of skills you've built up being able to fix things. And a big part of it, again, is that the, the farmers that I met are, took a lot of pride in their self-reliance and their ability to get things to work. It doesn't even seem to be just about the money thing. It seems to be about the point. I have to call someone up and be at their beck and call as to when they would like to come out, when are they available, and wait for them after I fix something. Many of these modern devices are put together in a manner where even if they actually fix the problem, the machine won't turn on again until somebody hooks up the proper computer with the proper programming and hits a little button that says, yes, it's okay. And I think it's really cool that farmers are deciding, you know what? We don't need to buy your new stuff. We'll keep buying this old stuff. And it looks like the, from the numbers of it, last year there was one dealer that auctioned off 27 40-year-old tractors in 2019 alone. And the interesting thing is many may think, well, they're not going to be able to do their job very well because they're using old technology. But it says here, Follin said his corn crop was better than the Minnesota average in 2019, despite the fact that he farms on the Canadian border and uses 40-year-old equipment. And he says the main reason we do this is to make money, Fallen said. Older equipment is a way to reduce your cost per bushel to become more profitable. So not only are they able to make more money, but they're also able to remain self-reliant, fix their own stuff. And... I kind of wonder if some of these practices that these companies make are going to change, particularly with companies like John Deere, which seems like the apple of the tractor industry, if the demand for their products goes down. If farmers continue to act, be willing to spend that much money just to avoid buying new stuff, maybe when it starts hitting them in the pocketbook, they'll stop selling products in the manner that they've been selling them, regardless of the way right to repair laws go. Either way, this, all of this stuff is genuinely interesting to me. So if you are a farmer, if you are involved in right to repair, you find this stuff interesting, or you think this uh, things that would be interesting for me to know and share, please do email me, lewis at rossmangroup.com. I do read it even if I don't have time to respond to all of them. And this, I think this is really cool that farmers are saying, you know what, 
This is the one thing that MacBook owners don't do. When it comes to Apple products, I have people that show up in my store on a regular basis. They, I can't believe what Apple did. I don't like what they did with the iPhone 7. They had the bending iPhone 6 Plus, the bending iPhone 7 Plus with Touch IC and then baseband. This sucks. Okay, cool. I'm going to buy an iPhone 10. It's like, what? They just screwed you twice. But what's cool about the farmers is like, you know what? I'm not going to get screwed. Screw you. I'll buy the old gear. It'll, not only will I buy the old gear, John Deere, but I'll beat the state average farming my crop with 40-year-old technology. And they do it. It's awesome. It's genuinely inspiring to read these farmer stories. So please do continue sending them to me. I think they're awesome. I'll see you in the next video.